Hello. Today I'm going to do a haul video and I'm going to um, talk about the latest bunch of Lush Kitchen, Lush UK Kitchen uh, lotions. And these were made uh, two weeks ago in uh, June of 2017. And so uh, what they made uh, real recently is Sex Bomb Lotion, Colacus Lotion, Bright Side Lotion, Grass Lotion, Flying Fox, Flying Fox Lotion, Lemony Flutter Lotion, and this week they're also making tramp lotion so i have all of these so that i can uh, go through them and just kind of you guys had asked if i could go through them and let you know uh, which ones that i like most etc so let's just go through them and i'm going to go through them from my least favorite to my favorite okay okay so I think I'm going to start out with uh, Flying Fox, and it's a challenge for me to uh, review Flying Fox, and I'll tell you why. I don't like the shower gel. I like jasmine, but I don't like the shower gel. I smell something in the shower gel. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. That said, this uh, Flying Fox lotion is almost tolerable to me, okay? Um, you know, it's one of my least favorites. Um, it's not very thick. They're quite thin, quite thin. And it's very strong. Now, for those of you who like the Flying Fox scent, you'll like this because the scent is nice and strong. And um, it's, you know, it's creamy. It's nice and creamy. It's not very thick, though, but it's nice and creamy. And the scent does last a long time on your skin. This has almond oil, fair trade cocoa butter, jasmine, alang alang, cypress and palmarosa oil, and this is suitable for vegans. So if you like the Flying Fox scent, okay, if you like the Godiva shampoo bar, the round shampoo bar, if you like things like um, Lush Lust perfume and those kinds of things, you will love Flying Fox. And so that's Flying Fox. And then, let's see here. Uh, next up is grass. And uh, Lush makes a very popular uh, shower gel and, and a bubble bar in the UK uh, called grass. And Lush has made a, two, one, two, three other products that are in the same scent family. And this is the lotion. And it's not green like grass, it's white. So it's white. I can't tip it over like I usually do because it'll run out because it's quite thin. But uh, it's a nice scent. You know, grass smells like grass. It doesn't smell like um, tramp at all. It doesn't have that earthy scent that tramp has. This is like green grass. It's not earthy. Earthy means it smells like dirt. It smells like grass and it's uplifting and bright and fresh, not, you know, oak mossy, dark forest kind of like tramp, okay? I like it. I would rate grass a three out of five rating. And here is Lemony Flutter. Uh, they made this because they sell a cuticle cream that is so very popular called Lemony Flutter. And it's very, very, very thick. That's what it's known for. And so uh, Lush made Lemony Flutter body lotion. And this has fair trade cocoa butter, Sicilian lemon oil, lavender, 
and chamomile and it's suitable for vegans and it smells it's not sweet it smells like real lemons and lavender but it's it's too light of a scent in my opinion lemony flutter is the thinnest lotion of the bunch like this is very thin very thin so that's lemony flutter so i would rate lemony flutter a two or a two and a half out of five um, it's not as good as I know that it can be because the lemony flutter lotion that I used years ago was way thicker than this and the, the uh, scent was much stronger too so that's the lemony flutter I think that you guys would be disappointed if you spent your money on the lemony flutter to be honest and next uh, let's do Tramp. And so Tramp Lotion, it's very um, earthy. It's not sweet in any way, shape, or form. It smells like a mossy fairy glade in a dark medieval forest. It's almost bitter. It's mysterious. It's full of patchouli. This has almond oil, cocoa butter, oak moss, and patchouli. It's suitable for vegans, so it's mossy and earthy and a green, but in a, in a woodland nymph kind of a way, you know what I mean? Not in a fresh spring grass kind of a way. So that's Tramp. And Tramp lotion is the thickest of the bunch. This is a lot thicker than Lemony Flutter, so that's Tramp. I would rate Tramp a three out of five rating. I like the shower gel, but I don't reach for the, the lotion too much. I love the shower gel. The shower gel, I would rate a four out of five, but the tramp lotion, I would rate a three out of five. Again, these are getting better and better. <laughs> so next comes Colacus lotion. And it's Colacus, so naturally it's gonna be good. So, Colacus has the usual lime, frankincense, and neroli in it. It's suitable for vegans. It's not as thin as Lemony Flutter, but it's not as thick as Tramp. It's somewhere in the middle. I love frankincense. Okay, that's one of my favorite things. So, and you can really smell it in here. So right off the bat, I like Kalakas lotion. This has cocoa butter and almond oil, like the others. Kalakas lotion is, it's a little thin. It's not as thin as Lemony Flutter, but it's pretty thin. And um, it's white. So I would rate Kalakas lotion a four and a half out of five because it if it was thicker it would be a five so next oddly sex bomb now the body lotion is so nice better to me than the bath bomb it has the same exact scent as the bath bomb this has almond oil cocoa butter jasmine sage a lang, -a -lang and synthetic musk. It's suitable for vegans. Um, it's also pretty thin. It's white and um, it could be stronger, but it's not a weak scent. It's a medium strong scent, medium strong, somewhere between strong and light. And I love it. The scent stays on your skin. It's a lovely floral that is not sweet and it's a uh, really sexy. The scent stays on your skin a long time. But for those of you who really like a, a strong sex bomb scent, a really strong one, mm, this is this is like medium, but it's nice. I think you guys would like this if you spent your money on this. Next, and my favorite of the bunch, Bright Side. Oh my gosh. Lush makes a gorgeous bright yellow and orange 
bubble bar with a swirl called Bright Side. It's very citrusy. As you guys know, I love orange, so naturally I would like Bright Side because it has orange oil and tangerine oil. It's made with almond oil and cocoa butter. It's got mandarin, bergamot, and tangerine. It's suitable for vegans. This one has a little bit of color in it, which I was glad to see. It's kind of a uh, kind of a, a very light yellowy orange color, which is nice because bright side is so bright. Now, um, it's also pretty thin, um, you know, but but that smell, oh my God, oh my God. It smells like creamsicles. Actually, it smells better than creamsicles. It's just so good. It's um, orangey and it's citrusy and bright and um, I love it. It is conditioning. I really, I really like this. This is a four and a half out of five lotion. The only reason it's not a five is because it could be thicker, but the scent is so awesome. Yeah. And so those are the Lush Kitchen exclusive body lotions that we all voted for. If you have any questions about any of these lotions, just comment below and I'll answer as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you very soon on the next video. Bye-bye.